So hello guys, my name is Sola, and I'm back with another Minecraft video, guys. So today I want to be teaching you the Brick Crafter program. You may wonder what the Brick Crafter program does. Well, last video we learned the Cob Miner program. The Cob Miner program breaks the cobblestone and then puts it in the furnace. The Brick Crafter program picks up the stone that was smelted and then crafts it into stone bricks. The turtle conveniently puts the stone bricks in a chest for you to take. The reason you might want to learn the Brick Crafter program is because the turtle changes the stone, the stone into stone bricks. There is no outstanding reason why you should want the Brick Crafter program, but in my opinion, other variations of stone look a lot better than just pure stone. Like stone bricks looks a lot better than stone, in my opinion. You can also make smooth stone, like a polished andesite. But yeah, there's a lot of potential to it. Uh, if you just change a bit of codes and just mix it around a bit, you could be making totally different stuff. Like you could be crafting cake, you could be crafting cookies, you could be crafting pumpkin pie. <laughs> well, please like and subscribe the video for more YouTube content like this, and let's get straight into it. So, um, last video we made a cobblestone generator right here so the next thing you have to do I know I built a lot but all you have to do is make and make an underground underground side to the cobblestone generator put a turtle right here and put a chest on the left to it and also the, it has to be holding two things a crafting table and also a pickaxe like this so to get a turtle holding a pickaxe and a crafting table, all you have to do is go search turtle. Get a turtle with something like a, a mining turtle right here. Place it down. And also you have to get a crafting table like this. And you have to do lure. And then you have to uh, do turtle dot equip left i mean right right and then if it does right it'll be holding the craft it'll be holding the crafting table on this side and it'll be holding the uh, pickaxe on this side so it's good now uh let's show you the code all you have to do is edit for crafter i'll show you the code that i made so it'll print starting stone brick crafting program. Local number furnaces equals five. That just tells you how many furnaces there are right here, okay? So local brick count is how many bricks are in the chest. Whoa, there's a lot of them. I, didn't, I forgot to take them out, okay. So it'll check the total fuel. If total.get fuel level is less than two times on furnaces, it will say error, total needs more fuel. So it takes five fuel to go over here, and it takes five fuel to come back. So that's five plus five equals ten. Total.select one. So select slot one, and then put the stone in slot one. That's what it means. So total.suck up 64. Um, so just take the stone from the furnaces, okay? Total dot, so if we have 64 stone, it will start with those 64 stone and it will move back over here. So, uh, and it will end. So, uh, it will put, six, put 64 right here, it will put 64 right here, and it will put 64 right there. So, it's, uh, it's, there's, so one, wait, so there's 16 right here, 16 right here, 16 right here, and 16 right there. So this is what I already said, all of this. Total.craft, it'll craft the stone bricks and it'll print total stone bricks, so how many stone bricks it's made. Or it'll print not enough stone yet and it'll sleep for 1.5 minutes. 
and it'll end. So it'll move all of those stone bricks into this chest, okay? And then, it'll, so uh, this is what I said before, it'll total dot forward. And then if it has nothing else to do, it'll turn left to face the chest. And it'll select the stone bricks and it'll drop it into the chest. And then it'll turn right, so it'll face the generator again. And it'll end, and that's it. It's really, really simple and it's really, really easy to use. So, well, I know I say this every single video, but nothing's a coding video if I don't test it. So you have to activate Cobb Miner first. So let's start Cobb Miner. So it's mining the cobblestone. Now the next thing you have to do is go to this thing and start Brick Crafter, okay? Solar Sky's worker is working really, really obediently and quickly. So look at how quick the cobblestone breaks. Instant, it instantly breaks the cobblestone. And look, it already has 27 cobblestone, but this is what the video is all about. This Solar Sky's worker. So it's sleeping right now and it has 58 stone right now. So, uh, since it has 58 stone, all you have to do is wait a bit more and then it will start doing its job. Okay guys, so the total is moving really quick, quickly. It's taking all the stone from the uh, furnaces and it's moving already. It stopped, but let's see how much stone bricks it has. Oh my gosh, it works so quickly. It made this many cobblestone bricks. I know it already had like this much when it started, but it made this much? That is unbelievable. This works so good. So, it already has this many stone bricks. You're never gonna need to mine ever again. Last video, uh, the automatically collecting cobblestone, you're only getting cobblestone. This video, you're automatically getting stone bricks. There will be a link down in the description on how to get the code and also the brick crafter program. There's also a playlist of all my coding videos, so hopefully you check it out. I hope you liked my video and bye-bye.